Father, welcome to Diana's channel. How are you doing today? Lord, you see the gray hairs standing up? Gray hair, they might turn up. Uh, not putting a drop of color in these gray hairs. So guys, um, join me on this gray hair journey, which is full time. Ghana Immigration Service. What's going on? Uh, guys, this vlog is to share again on the steps and the uh, processes that I am taking. I'm taking and have taken. So, you know, in last year when I got in, in 2022, I went straight in after getting a uh, one month stay at uh, Ghana's immigration upon arrival. And so, because I knew that my why for making it destination Ghana until staying here after all i did a one entry i went straight into pursuing that one year residency and i'm going to uh copy that link at the end of this vlog in the description so again you can get a refresher so obviously the year is up and i renewed my residency for not one year but for two years so this is the latest as of now anything is liable to change as when i go through the steps there there were some changes in okay so first of all you have to renew your ghana card so i did that and when i went to the nia the national identity or uh authority no national identification authority i'm sorry in renewing my Ghana card, and you get that the renewal is for one year. They informed me that you can, in fact, pay the 120 US dollars in US dollars. That was not so in last year, based on my experience. You also can pay via Momo, but it has to be MTN, or again, you pay the uh pay in Ghana CD based on what their rate of exchange is. So I will advise to carry a little extra. Uh, you know, if you check and see what the daily uh, rate is for the US dollars to the CD, just carry a little extra just in case because the NIA's rate uh, may be different. So I did that, all went well. So Ghana card was renewed. Again, that's one requirement. As uh, Sister Ya, who was very instrumental in not only guiding me on the phone, but accompanied me uh, to GIS, Ghana Immigration Service, along with my two bond holders last year. She said this time, she said, Dan, with the renewal, you're good, okay? Because the steps that you have to take, it's, it's much easier than when you're applying for residency. So you're okay to go on your own. You know, she gave me one or two uh, pertinent information and I went on my own. Now, guys, uh, what was different this time around was I had to take a medical. Medical is now mandatory. And so that was a, the medical is a cost of 150 US dollars, um, if memory served me uh, correct, right? So you go with the Ghana CDs and that's converted. Also, um, you literally can renew more than two, three years, but I opted to renew for two years because remember, I've already done one year in Ghana. And you know, after two years, we'll have what, three years, and you know what your girl trying to go after and hoping that it will be possible at that stage. But bottom line is I renewed for two years. No, so guys, you go to the GIS, you don't need to make an appointment, you just turn up there, uh, during their working hours. And I will say to you guys, this vlog is going to relate to those persons who, like me, want to regularize themselves, but want to go through it by knowing it. So part of the boots on the ground is that what? You are part of your process. You are part of your why when you touch down, right? So I need to know. 
I need to see. There are some things I know I'm not going to take second and third hand information. And so again, I myself and I turned up there. I will say to you, try to reserve a couple of hours. You know, you have to exercise patience. When your girl telling you to exercise patience, you must know how it go. Um, because patience is not one of my virtues. But I'm working on it. The, but what I'm basically trying to say, you're not going to go in and walk out. So just prepare to give yourself at least two and a half hours. Yeah, if it goes up to three hours, it is what it is. And so I went there you filled out the form the only thing that is required obviously along with your passport is that you're going to do a letter just just um say why it is you want to renew again in ghana okay and that can be discussed if you connect with dan and you so choose for me to facilitate you uh, along the way once you do that then you're going to uh make your payment all right so you're making the payment of course there's a fee for each year that you're going to renew uh 30 us dollars I, I believe it is convert that to see to ghana cds so i did the two years so you times that by two and again the medical at 150 us dollar you convert that you're basically looking at over two thousand us dollars i had to pay on this time again last year medical was not mandatory so i did not go through a medical so you head over to the clinic, clinic, and guys, it was crowded. A lot of persons were there, were, were there. But you know what I want to let you know? Because my x-ray machine works well, you know. Let me just say, it was a diverse group of persons on that day that I attended. And persons of African descent on that day was very slim, very slim, needless to say. Why am I dropping that little bit of information in? I just let you know that not only Ghana is open, but there are a lot of persons coming in, um, not only from African descent, that they are regularizing themselves and they are doing all that they need to do to get their uh, status in Ghana, okay? So went through the medical, it was a little bit invasive. By that I mean you have to do a blood test. So yes, they, you, know, you know what it is when you're gonna do a blood test and you're tested for your high and low blood pressure. And you, the medical report is available 24 hours after. So I went back the following day and collected my medical report. All was in order. And so, once all of that is done, once you go through your medical, yes, you then go back into the uh, main office that handles the renewal and you give them, you know, the, 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 the slip of paper that obviously you will get from the uh, clinic. And once you tender all your documents in and they check that all is in order, again, your documents is just a passport and that letter as to why you want to renew and then also the receipt that you're getting from the clinic yes and uh you submit that and then gis gives you a retention slip and thereafter you just wait and then you'll check when you get that date there's a date on there that tells you you are to check to see if your passport is ready so that is it guys i am encouraging again those persons who want to make ghana their home and if you choose to get all your documents in order, right? Meaning residency, okay? Ghana card and all of that, then Dying S Channel is the channel for you because I will, at the end of the day, once you, once you finish communicating with me, you can go into anywhere and try to sort out your thing and see for yourself. And you learn along the way. Sometimes there are things you don't understand. Do not shy away from asking the questions over and over until you get it. Because after all, if somebody asks you, how did you do this? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God, no. That is a bit unsatisfactory if you ask me. And so, guys, that's basically it. My... Uh, I'm here in Ghana for an additional two years. All is well. Ghana is open to everybody. But my Jamaican diaspora, 
and others out there in the diaspora, come on in. Know what your why is. When you get into Ghana, sort yourself out because you never know what can happen down the line. So guys, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I appreciate each and every one of you for still rocking with Dan S. The channel is growing. Medassi, thank you. God bless.